Good evening, everybody. I hope you can hear me well. Uh, just uh, write in chat box, please, for me if you can hear me, if you can see me, to make sure that everything is going well. We will wait another few minutes before we will start. Maybe somebody else will join us on the webinar tonight. The picture, what you can see now, I have it done yesterday on the Women Empowerment Summit. Um, it just came with the... When you're listening to somebody, when you're listening to something, yeah? Do you remember, like, we're always trying to draw something? And I have done my neurographic. It's kind of my notes to the summit, which has effect to my brain straight away. And even now, when I, when I look at the picture, I remember much better the things which has been uh, seen on the webinar or on the v Women's uh, Empowerment Summit from the speakers on the stairs, uh, on the stage. Sorry, that's evening. <laughs> Monday evening, it's not the easy day. <laughs> I hope you had a nice one, I had a nice day. <clears throat> uh, we have somebody who has been a few times with me on my first webinar. Uh, that means I will use some different technique to show you uh, the skills what I'm teaching people. And uh, that will be interesting for the other people who have been attended the previous webinars as well. Did you find the chat box? If you if you didn't find that, just have a look. Where is it? Another few minutes and we can start. How are we going to run our webinar today? Uh, I will be talking, we will be drawing. And then at the end, you can ask me any questions. You can send them through the chat box. This is why I'm... Uh, this is why I would like you to find it right now. I hope you have a, we have a good light as well and you will be able to see it. Okay, it's one past eight. It's time to go. Now, my dear, I don't want to show you today any presentation. We'll just go straight away. Uh, we'll go just straight away through the uh, neurographic concept. Uh, who I am? My name is Olga Nurjanova. I'm the owner of the business here on Beauty Salon. I'm the mother of four children. And about a year and two months ago, I started to do the neurographic. Now I'm an instructor of neurographic. What is that neurographic? Neurographic, it's a new technique, it's a new method. Uh, the Russian guy, Pavel Peskarev, developed that method. He is a doctor of philosopher. Uh, he has a PhD in philosopher. He is a practical psychologist. He's architect. Uh, lots of practice and many years practice in the spiritual um, practice and technique. Like Tai Chi and that stuff as well. And as a combination of all his knowledge, that method came through. He said, uh, I'm not developed that method. It just came through me to the earth, to the people, you know, on the earth. And this is good for me because I'm accepting that position, that information. Because for me, it's really, really important with that particular person. Uh, not cocky. Don't talking about himself and all about his knowledge. He really wants to help people. And this is what's really inspired me at the beginning. Now, uh, the neurographic, it's a very simple technique. What you can do with that? You can fix the past situations in your life. You can control the stress. This is what I'm going to teach you today. Uh, you can model the future. 
you can change who you are now. You actually change impressions in your own brain. Uh, as you know, our brain has lots of neurons, massive amount of neurons, billions and billions. And our brain has even more neural connections. I will just show you how it looks like. There is lots of neurons in our brain. And there is some connection in between them. You can see those pictures quite often now because they're more and more popular. Our brain has a neuroplasticity. The neuroplasticity allows us to change our emotions, to change our brain, to improve it. For example, if somebody has a um, stroke, yeah, you know how it's affecting the brain. And some neural connections completely broken during that medical condition. But people, they still life. People, they are developing the new neural connections. For example, uh, if this one has been broken, okay, what you can do, you can build a new way to connect to that particular neuron. Or maybe through the other neuron. You can go this direction, okay? And it gives you the same functions again in your body. Why I'm saying that and why it's so important? What we do with the neurographic, we rebuild our neural connections in between the neurons, which is responsible for, for the things, how we accept the situation, how we accept the world. Because every single second, our brain working, and every single second, we rebuild and rebuild the new connections in between the neurons, okay? And this is how we change our emotions. This is how we actually operate. This is how we think. This is how we do the things. And uh, But I'm here today not to talk about the brain, okay? You can actually listen to so many um, competent people, even more competent than myself. I'm here today to show you how we can use that particular neuroplasticity and how we can change our emotions, how we can control our stress level. Uh, I can tell you a few situations, what's happening right with me, with my family. And I love those examples because they're quite powerful. And uh, I can show you how powerful it can be. The first situation I will tell you about between me and my son, my oldest son, uh, when I try to encourage him to help the family with the family contribution, and I have it done for a number of years, and it's never worked. And one day, again, we came to that particular discussion, and I was really, really angry. Of course, I came in tears to bed, and uh, I said to myself, listen, you have that fantastic tool in your hands. Why are you here? Why are you so upset? Go and do some work. I went from the bed to the table and I did my work for two hours. I was absolutely relaxed after that. Went to bed, followed to sleep. In the morning time, my son came and he said, Mom, I have a proposition for you. You can see overnight that neurographic picture changed the situation dramatically. I, do, I couldn't even... Uh, hope what it's going to change, what it did. And I did lots of different things as well, and did work in uh, um, diff for different people as well, not just for me. Uh, this is how neurographic is very, very effective. But the first time when I met um, the neurographic, yeah, I just, I just saw some um, videos on YouTube, the free videos, what you can check online and you can see if you'll find the Pavel Piscari of the guy who developed the method. He has a few, uh, couple of free videos, yeah? And I started to do the neurographic with him. The friend of mine, she recommended me uh, that particular method. And um, one day I did work with the circles because the circle in our mind, in our brain, it's a symbol of harmony. Everything which is round, it's like a womb. It's like 
mother's breast. It's like the earth. Everything is round and nice and comfortable in our subconscious mind. It's harmony for us. Even when you have a, if you, even if you, if you look at the uh, art stuff or pictures in museums or in churches, yeah, you can see the round things above the head, you know, for the same people. And that means what that particular symbol has been used for years and years because it's a really uh, serious and deep meaning of the harmony for us and the comfort. Now, the other symbol I can talk today, it's a triangle. Triangle, something sharp. And our subconscious mind take it as a stress, take it as a very dangerous situation. It could be a knife, it could be a sore, it could be teeth, it could be something really, really sharp. And this is why that particular symbol, the triangle, uh, in our pictures will be a symbol of um, of something what we would like to change and harmonize. Okay, how we will do that? We will do it with the neural line, just to rounding the sharp corners, just to smooth them and round, something like this. I said neural line. What is it? The neural line, it's a very interesting thing. This is actually uh, has been has a patent of Pavel Pisker. And this line has a bionicle. Oh, yeah, Monday evening. Looking for the words in English. <laughs> Okay, um, it's a really, really nice and smooth. But what's the special about that line? It's never repeat on any part of uh, itself. Okay, it goes from nowhere to nowhere. Okay, and it doesn't repeat itself on any part. Something like this. I hope you can see that. The neural lines are really, really important for us. Okay, because uh, we're going to connect our neurons our figures on a picture with the neural line we can go over and over again or we can go with the new lines okay this is what we're going to do draw today lines and circles we're not going to touch triangles but i want to say about another figure as well what we use in your graphic that figure it's a square square it's not as sharp as triangle but still have some corners and some sharpness, but it's a figure for our subconscious mind of stability. Everything what you can see in a square around yourself means stability. All the houses, they're stable, they're not bubbling, yeah? And any situation subconsciously in our brain uh, related to that particular figure means stable situation. This is how our subconscious mind works. Now I'm going to turn that picture around. Oh no, I will take it away. Those pictures now everywhere in my house. <laughs> okay, when the lines they crossing each other, you can see it. I think I need to take a different marker, a bit thicker. When the lines crossing each other, it's always four, at least four uh, corners. It creates the four corners. What we're going to do in the neural graphic, we're going to smooth those sharp corners like this. And that's what's happening. This is what we will receive. This is what we will achieve. Okay. Now, that figure doesn't look sharp anymore, isn't it? It's much easier and much more smoother. When we 
going to draw today. We will do on every single cross lines that smoothness. We will develop that because during that process in our subconscious mind, in our brain, we build the new connections. And that means we're fixing that situation that we're going to work today on. Now, um, how it's going to fix the situation? When we look at the picture, at the beginning it has been sharpness, yeah? And then with our own hands, we use our own hands and with our own brain, with our own eyes, we can see the changes. It has a mirror reflection back to our brain and it's building new neural connections and it changed the situation in our brain. This is how it works. Okay. I hope it will be more understandable when we will start to do the work. And I will ask you to start with me. Uh, try to do the neural lines now. Okay. Try to go. We're going to do a trial first before we'll do any picture. Okay. Just take your piece of paper, take your marker and just go ahead. Whatever you want from the bottom to the top to the side. Just give your hand a freedom. Okay. Relax your hand and let it go. Let it go anywhere. Don't worry about anything. Just let it go. The good things about the neurographic, you can't destroy it. <laughs> Even if you work on your life. Okay. Even if you work on the situations in your life, you can't destroy it. That's the good thing. Paper, it's only a paper. It has the magic effect. Uh, to the situations in your own life. But at the same time, it's only a paper. You can't damage it. I want you to remember it. Even if it's not going to be pretty, pretty straight away for you, okay? Just let it go. Let's do it. Give your hand the freedom. Let it fly through them. There is no rush, okay? You need to go a bit slowly through the lines. Try to go a few times over the same line. If you can see it kind of like this, yeah, this line means repeating some particular pattern. If you're going to change some situations uh, in your life, we don't need to repeat it. We need to change it. And how we can change it, we can go with a different type of line over it over and over again and you can see the line has changed completely isn't it and that means right now in my brain something changing direct um, regards to that particular problem to, to that particular stress or that particular situation i hope you understand me <laughs> With my accent and with my broken English at the end of the day. But listen, guys, uh, we're going to start the work now. Tonight I will show you the different, a bit different technique. Usually we go through the catharsis, we throw our emotions on a piece of paper and then we change in emotions right away in front of our eyes. But I think for the night time it's going to be a bit too much because you, that type of work might need uh, from you two hours, okay? I'm going to show you a different thing, different but simple, but really effective. I actually really like it by the end of the day. Uh, the last couple of days, the last week, I used that technique when I go to bed. And I noticed what I'm totally relaxed after all, plus I'm totally... Mm, relaxed on the next morning. I can concentrate on the things that I need to do more. And I'm more kind of um, easy going. Yeah, there is not that much tension in me anymore. It's a good technique to use by the end of the day. Let me just to get a, new, uh, a clean paper and we can start. For those people who didn't see the pictures before, how they look like, I just want to show you a few. Some 
something like this. Something like this. If you finish your picture, you can put that in a frame and you can put it on the wall. On the wall, every time when your eyes will be connected to the picture, uh, you will have a reflection about that topic what you worked and it will be back to your brain again. It's going to change it all the time. But sometimes if the stress melts away, even by the end of the day, at the end of the work, you might not remember it. This is why it's so important to write it down at the back, the topic what you're going to start. But today we will be just working on the day what passed, like the last minute of Monday, we'll say. Okay? Now, if you're going to learn that with me for a little while, you will be able to do pictures similar, even better than what I have done. And they will be relative to your own situations, to your own life, to your own, um, to your own conditions or to your own problems. And you're going to fix it. You're going to work on it and you're going to achieve that comfort zone. You're going to achieve that, um, harmony in your life. Okay. Let's start it. Take a marker now or pen, whatever you like, whatever it goes smooth. And slowly go from one corner to another one with the nice and smooth neural line. You can just think about uh, the day would pass, or you might just don't think at all about this particular day. Just let it go. You can choose any color you want. I would like to work today with the green one. I hope you will see it on the on the screen. I'm going to start somewhere here. Relax your hand. Think about the day what has been passed. If it was any tension or any stress. Just, just relax your hand and let it go. You can think what was good in that day and let your hand go. Those lines, they can cross each other. It's absolutely fine. Try to do those lines in one direction. Can you see? Now we have a few lines already. And we can, we have the spots where they're crossing each other. What we're going to do, do you remember? All that sharpness, we need to round and smooth. You can go over the line again, but make sure with every corner on your picture, where is line crossing each other, you smooth it. Can you see what I do? How are you going on yourself? You can go over the line. You can make lines in some points a bit thicker. That's absolutely fine as well. Whatever you want at the end of the day. Sometimes when you do this work, there is some thoughts comes in your head. And they might be really, really valuable for you. If you're looking for some decision, you might get a decision. Psychologists call that particular process insight. It might bring memory. And the memory sometimes might be not good. 
that means you have the tension in that particular area or you have a block, the energy block. If you understand that, that kind of uh, stuff, you know. And you can release that very easy. Just let that flow to go through that block. Smooth the corners, sharpness. Make it really, really soft. You need to work on that picture until you would like those lines, okay? This is important thing as well. Until you would like the curves. If those curves not, if you're not happy with the curves, what you're doing now, you can change them. Do you remember I showed you at the beginning? If you don't like that particular bend, you can change it. But make sure what you don't repeat it. Because you don't need to repeat any situation. You don't need to repeat any pattern in your life. Now, all the crossings for me, done. How's things with you? If you can write it down in the chat box, it will be good. In the area where is lots of lines and lots of lines crossing each other, it's called the energy point. What we're going to do in that particular area, draw the circles there. And it's, it will be our power station there. Because the circle will be uh, accumulate, accumulate that energy. All right. And the circle, as we remember, it's a symbol of harmony. It will harmonize the picture. Now it's a little bit kind of... Uh, busy my picture isn't it my lines they're not nice and smooth but what i'm going to do now i look at my picture and i can see which curve or which area i would like to put the circle i would like to put it's, can you see that little line here oops you don't see it on the screen it's not fit into the i'm going to move it a little bit here okay I'm going to can you see that little curve here? When I look at my picture, it's reminding me about, uh, about the circle. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to just round that particular area. I'm going to draw the circle in that particular area now. And all the time when my circle line Crossing the other line, I'm, go I'm going to smooth that here. Now, inside of the circle, everything is nice and smooth. But outside, I still have some corners. I'm going to smooth them as well. You can go through the lines as many times as you want. You can draw the lines as many as you want. More lines, more effective your work will be. But you need to leave a space on the page as well to be able to breathe because some people have a really busy life. And if you will put all that stuff straight away without the experience, you might be too excited you might be too you might have too much um, tension which is not which is not great okay uh, too much of anything it's not good give yourself a space to be able to breathe now I can see this curve here and it is reminding the circle as well and I'm going to draw the circle here it doesn't mean what every single curve I have to turn into the circle, no. Just the curve which my eyes catching. That means subconsciously my brain catching the problem there. Okay. Or catching the something where I need to pay an attention and put the like, to harmonize it.
straight away I'm going to fix all the sharp corners into my figure where is my circle inside and outside as well I hope you're doing well with me how circles going for you just let me know please just put some sign in the box in the chat box maybe plus or maybe write some few words now I look at my picture and there is an area where there's no lines crossing each other but there is an area here with my eyes catching as a big circle as well and as we know when the eyes see when I see the circle kind of where it can be that means with that particular area um, very important for my subconscious mind and I'm going to draw the big circle here even if it's not as a circle but I can my eyes can see that here all right I'll show you where is it it's that particular area here circles they can be completely different it could be really really round but they could be not even symmetrical that's okay it's absolutely fine it don't have to be perfect it will come with the practice I had a lady in my life she came for me to me for therapeutic session and she couldn't find she could not smooth at all um, the sharpness in the corners all right in the crossing lines she just couldn't see that and sometimes it's happened with people it's absolutely fine because um, we don't our brain don't want to see our own problems your brain trying to do the trick with you it's trying to keep you in a safe place yeah your brain don't want change all the time when we do something like this when we do the neurographic picture we change our impressions about the situations in our brain and even the little change in the system brings the change in the whole system even the small little things will change the whole system Sometimes miracles happening straight away, overnight, or even in the next couple of minutes. I had a lady, she worked with me, and she wanted to attract the customers into her business. You won't believe. We didn't finish the work yet, and she got the email. She got the few new customers. Straight away, during the program, uh, during the session when we, when we worked on that particular topic. Where else you can use the neurographic? You can use it in modeling your, your future, in modeling the, mm, the situations what you would like to receive in your life, to find out your uniqueness, to find out what you really want from this life. Sometimes when we have a busy life, yeah, we don't know... Um, we completely forget who we are we completely forget we have the things that we need to do we have to be mothers we have to be wives we have to be daughters we have to look after our clients we have to look after our neighbors we have to look our dogs our cats our parents our kids we have to look we have and we completely forget to look at ourselves and the neurographic it's fantastic way to get back to yourself even if you don't understand it right now, but it will bring you slowly back to yourself. Every time when you do the lines, when you do the circles, you get back into who you are, what do you really like in this life, and we can do that particular session as well with you. Okay, I will continue to draw the things, and you can. I hope you continue to draw that as well. I'm so... <laughs> excited when I start to talk about the uh, possibilities what neurographic can bring into the life because it changed my life completely since I start to do that 
Um, wait a second. I can see another uh, kind of crossing here, another kind of activities here, and I would like to put that into the circle as well. Into that kind of circle. When I went yesterday to that um, Women Empowerment Summit, it was fantastic speakers who went through the lots of different and difficult situations. They're really, really powerful ladies that were on stage. They had built themselves up, yeah, and they were talking about, about the things what you need to like before you will achieve any success in your life. And when you miss that particular thing, who you are, how you would know what do you like? What do you really want? Okay. And when I started to do the neurographic, I said, oh, my God. I did not draw since I was in a school. And when I started to do it about me, about who I am, about the situations, what is not easy in my life, yeah? I just recognize what it's type of meditation. When you put the pen or when you put the marker on a page, yeah? On a blank page, you start from the scratch. You can draw whatever you want. It's amazing. But it's not because you would like to draw the pen or you would like to draw the um, ball, or you, you would like to draw something what has the name and what has the meaning. With the neurographic, you draw your own life, your new life, the life what you would like to get, the life what you would like to achieve. You can work on a situation which is quite difficult. Uh, as I said, I'm an instructor of neurographic now, but I am on the course with another 100 people who is study to be the instructors of neurographic and i met a girl there which has extremely difficult childhood extremely difficult and the neurographic helped you to get back to the to get rid of that pain from the childhood it has massive massive therapeutic effect on her um <clears throat> i have a customer he comes to me uh, for the therapeutic sessions as well. And compared to, he, he comes to me for the coach sessions for the last maybe six months, six and a half months, yeah. And compared to what he was at the beginning, he's a new person now, new born person. You can see he's more relaxed. You can see what he's smiling now. You can see what he can, he can look forward in the future now. He's not concentrated anymore. Uh, on his pain, okay? He started to build his future, but he released lots of blocks. I can tell you one story, what we went through. I hope I'm not taking too much time for those stories, you know, but it, it's important. Uh, we worked on a really, really heavy topic. In a neurographic, you don't need to tell the um, coach or instructor what kind of topic is it like when you go to the psychologist you have to talk to them yeah you have to explain them and sometimes it's really difficult even to say the word and um, when you draw this you can draw the line or you can draw the figure what in your mind uh, associating with that particular pain and you don't need to say that that's a good thing Okay, he worked on something very difficult, and I can see what his marker is not going as easy or as free as usual. And uh, the session went to the end, and he still didn't finish it. And I said, Lisa, would you like me to help you? He said, yes. I will, I'm so tired today. He said, I would like you to help me. And I started to touch his corner so it needs to be smoothed a little bit more and i feel so sick i said oh my god what kind of pain are you going through today and he said yeah it's so painful if i will tell you in between one and ten if one it's a little bit mm, sickness you know and ten it's a vomiting 
I feel I felt like a nine when I touched his picture. This is how powerful could be the neurographic. This is how powerful it could be uh, to work with somebody who is um, guiding you through the process. But we're not talking today about that particular um, that particular way to to use the neurographic. We're talking today to release the stress of the day. Okay, what we have done now, we learned how to do the lines. We learn where to put the circles and we learn how to smooth the corners. Have a look at your picture now. And from the beginning, if you remember how it looked like, what do you feel? Have a look at yourself. Have a look inside of yourself. Just relax. Close your eyes. Keep an eye inside of yourself. How do you feel now? What's going on inside of you? after you smooth in all the sharpness in your picture. If you will write it down for me, a few words, you know, in the chat box, that will be great. Uh, I will get the feedback from you that, that that's important for me to know as well. Now on that picture, we're going to put the color. You can see some parts of our circles, yeah? You can feel them with the different colors. You can pick it up subconsciously. Uh, I love the yellow color and I would like to have my yellow color today right here. I'm not going to color all my circles or all my figures. But I'm going to do some parts of it. But if you would like to color all, it's absolutely fine. You can do that. Every color has a meaning of something. But when you use it subconsciously, you don't need to concentrate on that. Because you draw the harmony, you draw the uh, release and the stress of the day. Now, you don't need to concentrate on anything else. Just let it go nice and smooth. Let it be. How do you feel now when you put the colors in? When you started to put the color in? For me, my picture is not as plain anymore. But I don't want to even analyze it yet. Okay, I just will go with my with my energy. I will just flow. Okay, I start. I think I did not tell you that story about <laughs> from the beginning. Uh, when I started to do the newer graphic, yeah, I, I watched the webinars uh, with the Pavel Piskarev, the free one, and I decided to draw the circles because the circle it's a symbol of harmony, yeah. And I said, and I heard what the triangle or pyramid could be the powerful tool as well. And I decided to have a powerful things in my life, but nice and smooth with the harmonized figures. <laughs> Isn't it nice? Isn't it a great idea? It's, I think it's a good idea. I think it was absolutely fantastic idea. I got at that time, I got the new markers that were really, really sharp, really, really... Uh, bright colors, you know, really strong colors, vibrant colors, right? And I started to draw the circles with those new markers into the pyramid. And I had the shape of the pyramid from the circles. I won't say what I was quite happy about it. No, I just, I just did it and that's it. But 
I felt excited, but you know, that kind of excitement, which is more conscious than excited. And I had that for one day, for second day, for the third day, for the fourth day, for the fifth day. <laughs> and then I said, no, 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 no. It cannot be like this. And I wrote the, uh, I wrote the message to the people who already done the neurographic, you know, who studied the neurographic with the author and I asked them what it can be. And they asked me to send a picture. I sent the picture and they said, of course, because all of that stuff, sharp, sharp figure, the pyramid, plus the bright colors, plus, but they said it's circles. They said, doesn't matter. You still have that kind of sharpness. And I said, okay, you explain me why do I have that feeling, but how, how I can fix it. They said, try to break down that pyramid. What I've done, uh, I just put more circles around it and I broke down the pyramid. And you won't believe. The minute I broke down that pyramid, I relaxed. And it wasn't that excitement and it wasn't that anxious anymore. It's gone. It was gone completely. And since that, I said to myself, it's a really powerful method and I want to learn it properly. I went to, to do the course uh, with the Pavel Piskaryov, with the owner, with the author, with the developer of that particular technique. I, I have done two courses first, and then I decided to go to do the course and to teach me how um, to be able to teach people how to use that method in their life, how to help themselves. Because once you know how to do the neurographic, how to use it uh, and implement into your own life. Uh, you can deal with any problem in your life. We can deal with any task in your life, with any goal in your life. Whatever you want, you will be able to achieve. But you need to know how to do it properly. That's the key ingredient. And for me, it's a passion now. I really found myself through that method. And I really found what I'm enjoying to teach the people as well how to do that. Probably my English is not perfect. Probably I have a strange accent. But I'm the person who wants to bring that to the English people, to the English speaking people from my heart. And I hope you will be able to get it from my heart as well. Um, I do those classes in Russian as well. Whatever. Uh, Whatever, if you have a Russian language, that's absolutely fine. You can join me in Russian. Probably it will be even more valuable for you. But if not, if you don't know Russian, I will be happy to show you and to teach you in English as well. If you decided to try it, if you decided to go ahead with this, because you might be able then to help other people as well. And this is how it grows. That thought actually came to my head yesterday on the Women women um, Empowerment Summit. It's great if you know something powerful, something worth working yourself. But it's absolutely brilliant if you will be able to, to share that with the other people as well. And they can use it. They can implement that in their lives. And I saw how many people how many women they needed from yesterday as well. There is so many people who there's so many people who just they don't know where to get the help. Okay. They will be afraid to go to the psychologist or they will be afraid to go to a counselor. Uh, but if they will be able to take care of themselves through the neurographic, they will change their life. They will be more happier. And once we will be more happy, that will be more happy in our life. We will be more happy in the society. We will be more happy in the country. We will be more happy on the earth. It's a fantastic, fantastic um, goal for me. And this is what I would love to share with the people. Now, girls, how are you doing? I'm just wondering. There's some uh, question here, or there's something here. 
<laughs> Thanks, Reda. <laughs> Thanks for my lovely accent. <laughs> okay. And see, once you start to put the colors into a picture, it's more interesting, it's more plain, and uh, it's more full, and it's more harmony in it as well. And with the colors, you can go from part to part, but it's a good idea to go through the different areas. Like, don't, don't stay only in one particular area with the color. Go and move from through the lines to the uh, connect the different parts of the picture for example can you see i'm going from this line from this this new line yeah from here starts and then i went through that little circle and then i went a little bit outside of the shape as well and then i went through this part which is connection in between the two circles and then i went to the other one what we receive when you go like this we, we get the flow we get the energy. If you have a look at the picture now from the side, yeah, just move back a little bit and have have a look at your picture now. From the side, you can see the energy flow start coming through it, and everything, all the stress, they're melting away, and it goes somewhere else. Okay, it's disappeared. It's a new meaning at the end, and just just go, just go, just let it go, just draw all the things and let it go. When I mentioned what not everybody can see their corners, okay? That means uh, if somebody near to you, you can just ask them, have a look at my picture, please. Can you see any sharp corners and, or any corners or any cross lines that I didn't know? And they will be they will be more than happy to help you to find out that. Because sometimes we don't see our things. And it's absolutely fine. More you will do it, more you will you will be able to see. And more you will be able to see in your life as well. Like what I don't like about that particular one, you know, can you see, I'm not happy how this one, this particular thing looks like. What I'm going to do, I will take my marker again, and I will go through this line here, and I just will bring this line here. And another sharpness, what has been happened, I will just smooth it. Am I happy now? Kind of. I just want to do it this way as well. Remember, more lines, more quality in your work. But again, not too much. Any corners, what's happening? You can add the line anytime during your work. You can add the new line anytime. You can add the new figure anytime. Today I was talking with you through the process, okay? Taking you through the process. That means you probably wasn't able to concentrate properly on the topic which you, on, on that particular day going, okay? And it's absolutely fine when you're listening to somebody, it's not that easy to concentrate on the things what's happening in your life. But I would like you to practice that tomorrow night. Only for a few minutes. As you can see, if I won't be talking to you, it will take me only a few minutes. Yeah. And you will do that as well in 20 minutes before you go to bed. It's fine, it's grand. Practice that tomorrow. And if you feel have any questions, just send it to me. You can email it to me. You can just send me through the messenger as well on Facebook. You can add your pictures to the uh, group Life is Colorful. Uh, you can actually find that link on your email, which I sent you. And uh, on that email, 
um, you can just click on that Facebook sign and it will bring you straight away to the uh, group Life is Colorful or you can just find it out by yourself, you know. And I will be happy if you will send me some pictures and I will be able to give you some feedback as well. And if you will get chance to work tomorrow um, at the end of the day, just keep an eye inside what's happening with you. How do you feel? Let yourself to be right now in that particular moment and let yourself to be to do the to do the things and have a little pen uh, have a little paper near to you and a pen as well and write it down what you what thoughts comes into your head during that process write it straight away down because by the time when you will finish your work you will completely forget about it and those thoughts they might be so valuable to you to the neural lines because they come from your subconscious mind this is why it's saying it's a connection to your subconscious mind it is the uh, conversation in between you yourself and your subconscious mind okay it could be an answer on some difficulties in your life it could be an answer to how to get more happier whatever comes you know it might bring some pain oh yeah it might bring some pain on the top, but that means that you need to work on that particular thing. And what I'm going to do next time, I will answer to your questions and I will uh, show you the other technique, the next one, um, how to go through the catharsis when you throw away stress on the page, yeah? And how to work with this, how to deal with this. But... Uh, if you will have your questions, it will be more valuable for you. Okay, that that I will be able to give you more information, what's uh, re related to your to your situations. Okay, and we'll be happy. I will be happy to answer to bring you to the process. And if you would like to learn the neurographic with me, uh, the people who joined that course, okay, uh, who joined our webinar today tonight, have a special prize for it. The first five webinars, including one session, uh, extra one, the sixth one, personal coach sessions will co a session will cost you only 150 euros. Normally, I run that for 250 euros, but uh, for the people who attended this webinar tonight, it will be only 150 euros, including the five sessions. Uh, the first one, the basic skills of neurographic, plus one personal training on the Skype session directly to you we can work on your particular problem or i can uh, show i can bring you through the mistakes that you have done and you will learn from me directly um, how to fix them how don't repeat them again okay if you would like to do that straight away you can just email me or you can again message me and i will book you in for the uh, basic skills of neurographic course and we'll be happy to work with you do you have any questions If you have any questions, just write it down, please, for me in the box. I will uh, I will be happy to answer it to you now. The people who speak Russian, I have done that basic of neurographic course. In Russian language, and uh, you can buy it in recordings already, and you will be um, you will get that uh, free session uh, Skype sessions with me as well. If you'd like to go ahead, go ahead with this, just send me a message again, and I will we will be able to sort it out personally then. Okay, it looks like this is, uh, everything is done. Uh, I don't have any questions. I will let you to go to your families, to yourself, to relax. And um, the next webinar I'm going to run day after tomorrow on Wednesday at the same time at night time. But if you will get chance to draw the picture tomorrow night, that will be great. And on Wednesday I will show you 
uh, the technique to go through the catharsis. It will be short webinar as well. You know, uh, if you know somebody who will be benefit from it, you can invite them as well. And I can send you a link um, direct to your emails uh, for the people who has been registered through the registration page. Or um, I can post the link in this in the group as well. You can have a look there. And I will see you again. Have a great night. Have a good night. Easy night. Sweet dreams. And we will see each other on Wednesday. Thank you very much. Thanks a million for all of you who attended to this webinar.